In the first video, we've seen different Moroccan-inspired spaces that you can easily replicate. The Moroccan-style garden takes inspiration from centuries of outdoor traditions, mixing Islamic, Moorish, and French influences. Courtyards are often included to deal with strong winds and hot temperatures. A Moroccan-themed garden is well known for its peaceful and serene atmosphere offering a tranquil retreat. It is characterized by vibrant colors and symmetrical patterns, often incorporating natural elements such as floral and plant motifs. It's no wonder that many homemakers and designers choose this style to amp up their backyards and gardens. If you're considering a Moroccan-themed backyard, this video will show you how to create your own perfect outdoor sanctuary. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and tap the bell button so you won't miss any of our videos. Casual and relaxed vibes are all the rage in home decor. And now that vibe is spilling over into our outdoor spaces too. People are aiming to turn their gardens into extensions of their homes, cozy spots where they can unwind, entertain, or just hang out. That's why there's a surge in people opting for rattan furniture, durable outdoor fabrics, and vibrant tiles to spruce up their outdoor areas. Here are some pointers that will make our gardens feel inviting and comfortable for various activities. Moroccan style is really popular at the moment, but the issue with trends is that they can go out of style fast. Let's design a look that captures the timeless aspects of Moroccan style without making it feel too themed. This way, your garden will stay stylish for years to come. Since good quality garden furniture and materials can be expensive, it's important to choose pieces that will last. Let's blend traditional Moroccan shapes, materials, and colors with a modern twist to create your version of a Moroccan courtyard. The focus here is on richness and abundance. Mixing metallics, bold patterns, and contrasting colors is encouraged. But let's adhere to the magic rule of three to maintain a sense of balance. Aim for no more than three materials, three colors, and three furniture styles to ensure your Moroccan garden feels intentionally curated rather than cluttered. Colors. Close your eyes and envision strolling through the bustling souks of Marrakesh, where the air is alive with the vibrant hues of exotic spice markets. Think of terracotta bowls brimming with cinnamon, turmeric, saffron, and nutmeg, the very essence of a classic Moroccan color palette. Terracotta is at the heart of Moroccan design, sourced from the natural clay of the region. It spans from soft pinks to intense fiery reds, crafting a cozy and inviting color scheme. These earthy tones dance harmoniously with cobalt blues, vivid reds, and emerald greens, reminiscent of the iconic Moroccan tiles that adorn the landscapes. Classic Moroccan hues like fired earth, cobalt blue, plaster pink, and peacock green set the tone for your courtyard's color palette. To achieve the soft, weathered look that's typical of Moroccan style, consider using clay paints and lime wash finishes. You can add texture to your paint by mixing in plaster to thicken it. Another technique is to dilute the paint with water and apply it with a wide brush using organic strokes. This creates a weathered and textured finish, enhancing the authentic Moroccan feel of your courtyard. Materials When talking about Moroccan-inspired design, we have to start with the tiles. Ceramic and mosaic tiles are crucial elements in many Moroccan interior and exterior designs. They bring intricate patterns, vibrant colors, and a sense of craftsmanship that's characteristic of Moroccan style. Bejmat, encaustic, and terracotta tiles play a vital role in adding color, pattern, and texture to your Moroccan garden design. However, they can be porous and impractical for rainy climates like England's. Thankfully, many brands now offer durable, easy-to-clean porcelain versions, making it much more practical to maintain this aesthetic. Many tiles can be used both indoors and outdoors in your home, allowing for a seamless flow from the inside out. In Moroccan design, imperfection is celebrated, with micro-cement, exposed plaster, and concrete often used. While replicating this can be expensive, you can achieve a similar look with concrete paints and lime washes. These can add a natural textured finish to a rendered wall at a more affordable cost. Furniture. When choosing furniture for your Moroccan-inspired space, aim for pieces that seem mismatched but actually complement each other perfectly. Look for common threads that tie them together, 
whether it's in their colors or materials. Pick out a few pieces that should work well together, depending on the size of your outdoor space. They need to be versatile enough to look great both indoors and outdoors, so you can mix and match them to suit your needs. For the sofa, consider the vibrant green color option, which would be perfect for a Moroccan garden scheme. Alternatively, a light beige color would also work well. The seat cushions must be removable since they're outdoors, making them practical and easy to clean. Another fantastic addition is a rattan armchair, which serves as the perfect statement piece for a Moroccan garden. It's lightweight and easy to move around for rearrangement. It also needs to have a base cushion for added comfort, and the cushion is removable for easy washing. Putting dining chairs and a table would complete the setup. Look for a dining set with a table that has a hole for a parasol if you need some shade. A glass top makes the table super practical and easy to clean. Just keep in mind that they'll need to be covered and protected from the elements when not in use. Speaking of parasols, there are so many designs to choose from. Go for a design that exudes exotic charm like a beaded trim and a color that matches any of the furniture. Having a coffee table is another great design element for a Moroccan-themed backyard. You can choose a rattan-made table or anything that will go well with nature. Accessories. Now that we have the core elements of our Moroccan garden scheme in place, let's shift our attention to the next layer, the accessories. Imagine layered textiles, lanterns, and plenty of floor cushions. This look is all about crafting a relaxed and comfortable environment so it doesn't have to be perfectly matched or polished. Vintage and imperfect pieces fit seamlessly into the overall aesthetic. An oversized terracotta pot is an absolutely perfect accessory for a Moroccan-styled garden or terrace. Its authentic appearance completes the look, and adding a tall tropical plant creates that extra exotic drama. To make your backyard more relaxing and comfortable, place floor cushions. It is a perfect accessory especially if you love entertaining. You can also choose a hand-woven round tatami straw cushion to match your other rattan furniture. They can be easily stored, so you won't have any problems buying a lot of these. Moroccan-style terrace rugs are also a must-have accessory. They really bring your backyard to life. With geometric compositions, stunning mosaics, and Berber patterns, they not only add beauty, but also complement other decorations. These outdoor rugs serve a practical purpose too, protecting the balcony floor from dirt and damage. The Moroccan pattern is a popular motif. Moroccan clover rugs in particular are often used as balcony and terrace decorations. A clover pattern, for example, is subtle enough to appeal to fans of tropical climates and enthusiasts of Scandinavian raw interiors alike. Another accessory to consider is a fire pit or a chiminea. Garden chimeneas are wonderfully decorative accessories for any garden, offering warmth for days or evenings spent outdoors. Available in various styles, freestanding chimeneas come in different sizes and prices, from small clay chimeneas to large iron ones. Whether you're looking for something simple for warmth or a more ornate piece, a chimenea is a must-have. No self-respecting Moroccan garden would be complete without at least a couple of lanterns to add atmosphere on those balmy evenings. Depending on your preference, you can either choose some jewel green colored glass or a bamboo lantern. Lastly, to complete your Moroccan themed garden, add water elements like a pool or a water fountain. Moroccan gardens often see water as the life force that brings vitality and coolness to the area. They are frequently included, serving both as decorative elements and practical features. They contribute to a serene atmosphere while representing the flow of life and the purity of nature. But there is one important element that puts all of these in cohesion. Any Moroccan-themed backyard will never be complete without it. Click part three to know what it is. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and tap the notification button to see what's new.